OKRs, or objective and key results, is arguably the most popular goal-setting framework for organizations. Now, there are several ways to implement OKRs in your organization. In this video, we'll go over how to implement OKRs using a combination of JIRA and Confluence. Now, be sure to check out our blog on this topic because it goes into even more details. The link is in the description below. Okay, let's go. Step one, define objectives and key results. Objectives should go beyond business as usual targets. Each objective must have three to five key results, which measure the success of that objective. Key results should be measurable. You either achieve a key result or you don't. Step two, understand the executive reporting requirements. Build reporting into your OKR implementation rather than thinking of it as an afterthought. Ask your stakeholders what questions they'd like answers to. It's much easier to implement OKRs when you know what the output should be. Step three, define JIRA issue hierarchy and logic. Now by default, JIRA has a three-tier issue hierarchy, epic issue and subtask issue. For OKRs, you need to level up this issue hierarchy so that routine tasks can be aligned to overarching strategic objectives. Luckily, Advanced Roadmaps lets you customize JIRA issue hierarchy and add more levels to it, such as goals, objectives, and key results. You also need to define the hierarchy logic. That is what rules govern the relationship across different issue levels. Note that a parent issue can have multiple child issues, but not vice versa. For example, a key result can have multiple initiatives, but an initiative can only have one key result. This is a standard rule across all OKR implementations. Our blog goes over one additional step about how to implement custom issue hierarchy in JIRA, so be sure to check that out. Next, step four, set up executive dashboard. You can extend JIRA's dashboards and reporting abilities with apps like Custom Charts for JIRA and Structure. These tools help you set up executive level dashboards and share the progress with all departments against OKRs without requiring status meetings or slide decks. Step five, create documentation in Confluence. Confluence is a great tool to consolidate and share all your OKR related resources with the team. This encourages OKR adoption and reduces back and forth communication between departments. Finally, step six, feedback and iteration. Since feedback is a vital element of OKR implementation, it helps to start small rather than aim for an all out launch, roll out OKRs and transition one team to the new process. Their feedback will help you make incremental improvements and successfully launch the initiative across the entire organization. These steps should help you introduce OKRs to your business and create alignment between strategy and operations.